Hey guys, what's up? It's Zorwind here. Uh, coming to you with another video after a long time. <laughs> I know it's been a little while. I think my last video was like two months ago. Um, I do appreciate y'all who are still loyal and tuning into the videos. Uh, I do appreciate you very much. I really do. Um, I'm planning on creating a ton of new content of YouTube videos and such. Um, I purchased a bunch of new games and planning on uh, playing all of them and even trying some new ones and giving some reviews of those as well. Um, also, uh, possibly maybe doing some other games as well as they come out. Um, one of them being uh, Bleeding Edge, which I'm really excited for. Uh, but today we are going to... Uh, be doing some idle champions of the forgotten realms so this is supposed to be like a uh i guess a idle rpg in a way um it looks like it's gotten some decent to bad reviews on xbox um so i want to try it out and see what i think and uh y'all will get my opinion as well on it and uh yeah here we go y'all <laughs> let's jump right into it <laughs> all right so here we are loading into uh forgotten realms it's supposed to be like a dungeons and dragons idle rpg if i remember right uh i downloaded it a while back and uh i plan on doing this earlier but i kept putting it off but here we go let's check it out y'all Yep, Dungeons and Dragons. All right, press A to start. Connecting, yeah, I've read. <laughs> okay, press A. Where are we going? Okay. Me, old friend Drizzit needs something. What? Achievement unlocked already. A new recruit. Unlocked an event champion. Uh, gnolls are attacking me. Don't worry, I'll take them out. Wow, this is going by fast. Gain 100,000 gold all over. Wait, wait, what? Why am I getting all these achievements already? Gained 100 bajillion gold all over all adventures. What the heck? Yeah, I, I'm getting achievements for no reason. Unless it's like racked up all this stuff for me bef from just downloading it. Manually attack monsters 250,000 times. Pressing B to attack enemies. Okay, so I could shoot spells at these guys. Okay, cool. So pressing B, you do like the tapping as in, uh... Hey, why don't you... Oh, my damage is increased. Okay. What is this? Right trigger A. Trigger X. Why does that not do anything? Oh, because I'm probably not in the... Th I was down below on that thing. Okay. Finally, a serious quest is complete. Hold the right thumbstick to move on to the next area. Fire's expert. What? You try. It's probably not registering it because of my uh, trigger subs. Can I not? Oh, okay, you gotta tap the sub repeatedly. That's kind of weird. Interesting. Your bud is based on highest DPS champions. Ultimate attacks of fire breath potions do damage based on this number. Okay. Interesting. So, I guess potions and stuff are based off of your. Is 
visit based stuff? Oh, I'm so confused. unit da ultimate damage. Okay. So it goes off your whole damage. Interesting. Okay. Uh, so yeah, let's right thumb stick our way. Do I? Oh, I gotta just move it all the way over to the right. That is weird. Don't forget you can max level me up X to purchase a level for me. Okay. Got enough gold to recruit another champion. Extra recruit her, she'll join me in fighting against Knowles. So do they get experience for killing these things as well? I think they do. Because I think I only leveled them up once. There we go. Increases damage by him by 100%. You just unlocked me an upgrade, made me much more powerful. You unlock another upgrade each time fills this bar. Okay. So wait, do I do like details or something? I like how it has all the stats, but like, do all the stats really make a difference? <laughs> I mean, this isn't exactly Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, it it's based off of it, but... Oh, okay, upgrades. There we go. Interesting. Okay, then I can press A to whatever, okay. But that was weird, I randomly got like a bunch of achievements right off the bat that I didn't actually earn. Seems to be in the style of shield dwarves. I, the messages go by so quick I can't even read it. <laughs> oh, okay, so you can read it up top there in the top right corner, but still, I mean, for an idle RPG that makes you want to read stuff, I think that's a little, a little difficult there. Death to the gnomes? <laughs> I guess, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so it's an interesting concept. I've played better idle RPGs, like uh, Clicker Hero is, in my opinion, is better than this. Okay, so the controls are weird. 
Why does it turn auto progress on? I just want to turn that off. I don't want to go back. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This... This is weird. Oh, okay, so your characters even have health bars. That's interesting. Boss powering up two times. Okay, so you got abilities you could even do too. Man, there's so many pop-ups that just keep popping up that... Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> Open. Oh, what the hell? You wish to unlock a lock chest. Let's just open the silver chest that I know that I unlocked, just... Ton of gold, and... Increases damage of all champions by 65%. So sharp I could skin a dinner with it. Uh, what was this one? Support the Kobold Inventor Rogue. Duplicate. Okay, so duplicates make that item more powerful. Interesting. Wants to put a stick. <laughs> automatically equipped when you get it okay so then what was the point of me going on here just to see that it's equipped <laughs> what I'm thinking oh you got a bounty contract and use that to earn gold instantly okay Show you how to swap in your new champion. Your enemies. Your new champion is in this seat. Press Y to bring up character sheet of the champion in the bench slot. And then pick another hero to swap in. The... Oh, spurt. Okay. It's the one that I got the stuff for. Okay. Interesting.
it's... I don't know. It's interesting. It's an interesting concept. My problem is, is the game goes by way too quick at the start. It already goes for throwing you right into the action. Looks like I'm collecting their heads, but I know that's not their heads, it's travelers I'm rescuing. <laughs> So it doesn't seem too horrible, but it doesn't seem great either. Looks like it really just throws you into the action before you even really know it. Wait, if I move him up here, so okay, so that moves up your DPS because they're closer to the action. Interesting. Okay, because they see the enemies first. Then <laughs> that is so interesting. Okay, <clears throat> and I guess with group sake, you would want to have like your warrior uh, be the one in the front rather than your mages. Interesting, that dropped damage per second. Doing that. Yeah, because that actually raised it like 5,000. Oh, he killed him. So wait, does he come back alive or like what? I wasn't paying attention to his health. Do I have to like level him up to get him back? Oh, there he is. a lot more damage per second. <laughs> There's a lot of rewards for not being idle, it looks like. Um, I still prefer Clicker Hero over this. Or, uh, if any of y'all have ever played, uh, there was one internet browser one that I played one time. Um, oh, what was that? Cookie Clicker. That, that one was fun. That one was mild, mildly entertaining. It was mindless, but... <laughs> I, I, I thought it was interesting. Yeah. It's not bad. It's just you really get thrown into it and have to learn quickly. Which, granted, at the very least, I know roughly what to expect in a uh, 
idle RPG. I, I think this one's a little bit interesting with the uh, the fact that you have uh, characters have their own health, <clears throat> which kind of motivates you not to be <laughs> idle. In my opinion. Dude, I'm like doing no damage with my thing. I know it's only level 6, but like... For it to cost me 709 gold for an upgrade? Heck, Brunor is even cheaper than that at level 80. Got him to level 100. Yeah, that ramped up a lot for not much more damage, in my opinion. 588. From 308? It's not much damage. I don't know. Yeah. It's not looking like much, anyways. So, how much does it cost for the next guy? 25? Uh, let's see. Pick up. It looks like a melee, so we'll put him up front. She isn't too happy. Cool. It's kind of weird that this has like its own story to it. That's weird. Her being next to them. Oh, okay, I guess she gives them healing. Uh, I guess that makes sense. Okay, we got some gems. So I'm guessing Celeste is more of a cleric. Okay. It's really interesting. Health. So, I don't know. I, I did get at the same time. I I think it's all right. <laughs> I'm not too impressed with it. So if we just let ourselves AFK here, see what happens. They mostly seem like they can handle themselves. I mean, they're doing most of the work anyways. So there's not really much point in me really doing this unless it's to collect my rewards right away. Or to progress faster, I guess.
It just seems like you're really going on and don't really know what you're going what's going on. <coughs> it's like you just skipped the tutorial, really. <laughs> like, look, I'm doing, like, barely anything. I'm doing 7k. They're doing millions of damage per hit. <laughs> No, oh, not what I want. It's not bad. So if I don't pick up anything, do they like automatically pick it up when they walk by it? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just all mounts up on the floor here. Interesting. And then when you clear the area, you get all the gold. Okay. And anything that was left over, it just moves it to the next floor. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It's not bad. Uh, I'm... Me, personally, I'm not really enjoying it that much. Like, I'm not like, oh my god, this is the greatest game ever. At the same time, I'm kind of like, eh, it's, it's alright for killing time. <laughs> I, I've played better I, I had a lot of RPGs in this though. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna call that a video there. Uh, I do appreciate y'all for tuning into this video and hopefully gonna make some more great ones. And if you want Zorwin's uh, rating on this, I would give it out of a scale of one to ten, we'd probably give this uh Three or four, probably. It isn't the worst thing I've ever played, and it's not quite mediocre. It, it falls short of the mark, in my opinion. Um, but hey, I as I always say and always recommend is if y'all think you would enjoy this. Go out and try it. I mean, this game is free, so if it's free, I always say go out and try it. Um, because just because it's not my cup of tea, who knows? It might be yours. Um, but I mean, y'all can even see what it's like right now. I mean, we just went from the very start to now, and it's like literally just from the main menu, it throws you right in. Um, other than that, uh, We'll be creating another great video here, uh, hopefully soon. Other than that, uh, I'll catch y'all later. Be sure to tune in to my streams Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on twitch.tv slash Zorwind. You can find a link down below in my bio. And uh, other than that, um, yeah, I'll be uh, testing out new games that I've gotten and 
uh, showing y'all how they all work and whatnot. Um, and maybe creating some great videos of, of them. Um, but yeah, that's it for me on this because this is alright, but it isn't that amazing in my opinion. Wow, was he the main damage per second? Holy cow. <laughs> and y'all get to see me basically wipe on that level. <laughs> Alright. So it just sends you back to the level before so you can get stronger. That's not bad. That's like other idle RPGs. But that's... I don't like it for that reason. If your heroes start to die, or if they do die, like, that weakens your damage per second. I, I don't know. I've never played an idle RPG where your damage per second actually drops because you're not killing the enemies fast enough. You know? Um, other than that, yeah. This is actually probably a three, maybe a two, actually, based on that. <laughs> uh, anyways, y'all, I will catch y'all next video, and uh, be sure to check out my stream Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday on twitch.tv slash Zorwind, and uh, I'll be uploading some more uh, videos here on YouTube, and uh, yeah. Uh, have a great rest of your day, y'all, and uh, catch you next time. Zorwind out.